Right, this video then is going to go through how to calculate the mean using what we call an assumed mean. Now think of the assumed mean, when we look at it in a second, as being a guess or an estimate. Okay? We're going to then use that guess or estimate to calculate the mean accurately. Now this is a really involved and um, complicated method, so you really only want to use this method if you're asked to. Okay? If you see the word assumed mean in your question, then you use this method. Otherwise, you just do it as normal. It does become very useful, and you, you don't see the point of doing this when you, if you study statistics at a higher level and when you were older. Okay? But for now, you only use this method if you're asked to. That's really, really important. Right, so we're going to find the mean of the four numbers I'm going to show you in a second using 30 as the assumed mean. So I can't stress enough, you only use this method if you see the word assumed mean in your question. It, and you'll see why now. Uh, so there are our four numbers. So the first thing we do is we calculate differences. So literally all we're going to do is take each number and take away the assumed mean. So we find in the difference between each of our data values and the, our guess. So our first one is 26.8 to take away 30 to give us negative 3.2. We take the second number, 27.2, we take away our assumed mean. Okay, so take that second number, take away the assumed mean. And that's going to give us an answer of negative 2.8. We're going to do that for the other two numbers as well. So our next calculation is going to be 34.1, take away 30, equals 4.1. And then 36.4, take away 30, and that gives us 6.4. Okay. And now we've got four differences, and we're going to work out the mean of those differences. So we're going to calculate that mean, and then we're going to use that mean to calculate our accurate mean. It all gets a bit confusing. All right. So if we take those four numbers, negative 32... Add negative 2.8, so that's the same as subtract 2.8, plus 4.1, plus 6.4. And if we add them together, we're going to get 4.85, sorry. Okay, so total of the four numbers is 4.5. So to find the mean of the four numbers, we now take that total and we divide it by 4. So our mean of the differences is going to be 4.5 divided by 4, which is 1.1325. All right. Still not finished yet. That's not our mean. So finally, to calculate the mean, we take that mean of the differences, so that value, and we add it to our guess. So we take 30... Add 1.125, that's going to be 31.125. Okay, and then finally we get our answer. So like I said, now you can see, look, why you only do that method if you've got an assumed mean in your question. So what you do is you take each of those four numbers, you take away the assumed mean to get your differences. That's what we did here in the first step, to get those four numbers. Your next step then is to find the mean of those, four, of those differences. So we added those four numbers together to get 4.5. And we divided that by 4 to get the mean of those four numbers to get that value. And then finally, to calculate the mean, you add that value onto your guess. Okay? It's actually a very, very clever method. And perhaps when you get older and you study statistics to a higher level you would appreciate how clever that method is. So obviously, if you're not asked to find the assumed mean, we're going to use this now to check. To find the mean of those numbers, you're just going to add them together, which gives you... Um, so we'll do that now. So let's find the mean normally. Okay? So if we add those four numbers together, we get an answer of 124.5. So just work that out in your calculator. We divide that by four... And then we get our answer much quicker, which is 31.125. Okay, so you can check that in your calculator if you want to. 
So obviously, you use this method if the question asks you to find the mean. You only use the other method we've just gone through if you ask to find the assumed mean. So you find the differences, the mean of the differences, and then finally get your mean. I always do that last check, though, that I did in the white colour to check that your answer is right, obviously. Okay? Right, off you go.